Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again. And this time, I've got a big canvas up. It's a, I think it's 18 by 24, something like that. And I have no idea what I'm gonna paint. So we're just gonna make things up as we go along. And uh, I'm just gonna paint this. I'm not even gonna, uh, not even gonna design it. <laughs> Just gonna paint it. Just gonna wing it. Because some painters, they could paint out of their head, and uh, they didn't need to have something in front of them. Paul Gauguin being one of those. So let's have a go at being a imaginary painter. Let's pretend. <laughs> Let's pretend I'm a I'm painting genius and I know what I'm doing. So here's my palette of paints. It's a right old mess. <laughs> We've got um, ultramarine blue, lizard and crimson, white, a little bit of Naples yellow under that, uh, cad yellow with chrome yellow, sap green, 3D and green, burnt umber, burnt sienna and yellow ochre. And with this array, with this array, we will do something. Ooh, just had this idea. What if we did a uh, another seascape? Hmm. Let's put the sky in, and then we'll think about it as we're painting. So, just loading my brush with some blue and white. My canvas is covered with a thin coat of, uh, there's a mixture of red, uh, yellow. <laughs> oh dear. I tell you, it's hard to think when you're painting. Your brain just goes into painting mode and you're like how am I going to explain this I can't even think <laughs> yeah so I used some yellow ochre and uh, some vermilion and and uh, a bit of burnt umber and I just put a thin coat over some gesso just to tone it give it a bit of a tone that's strong that's strong in it. I'm just loading my brush, loading it look properly, loading all the paint. have uh, I might have clouds around it have a blue spot of sky and cloud around it let's try that we're experimenting today we're doing what we like everyone I'm getting some blue it burnt sienna in it Making it sort of a greyish, greyish colour. We'll throw that in. It's on this cloud. Kind of cutting in like that. We're just throwing the paint on. Some of that red pokes through, but I don't mind. Having a look, 
Getting a bit more of the uh, brown, well, burnt sienna, ultramarine blue, and a lizard crimson. A bit darker with that sky. I do like painting skies. Yeah, so recently I've been reading a lot about post-impressionists. As you know, <laughs> you probably noticed from watching my, my videos that I'm a, I'm a bit of a Van Gogh fan. <laughs> I just like the use of paint. I'm a big impressionist fan as well. I really like the impressionists. But then I like the traditionalists as well. I'm, just a painting fan. I like to try it all out. But I think as a personal painter, as painting for enjoyment, as much as I like trying out all techniques, I think I do wave um, towards impressionism, even uh, When I first started painting, really, I battled against it. <laughs> Which is what, it's a funny thing. I tried not to do it. <laughs> I don't know. I guess I didn't think I would be uh, good enough to do it because you have to be... You have to be able to connect to your own passion. Feel like you have to really connect and really be passionate <laughs> when you're painting painting for yourself what I mean is when you're uh, when you're trying to paint from your own your own being you're creating your own style in a sense because even if you're trying to emulate somebody or you you like impressionism or you like traditional painting or, or whatever it doesn't really matter because your painting is going to come out in your style and that's because it's by your hand so a hey, painting analysis <laughs> and they do do that now analyze paintings to see whose hand was on it because of all the forges around you usually can tell by little things who, who it is. So what I think it is, and they should call it painting. <laughs> no, it should be called hand painting because uh, you know, like hand your own personal handwriting. It should be your own personal hand painting. <laughs> It's a bit confusing, isn't it? But that's the right, that should be the right way of saying it. Because if you, if you say someone's handwriting is a certain way, then someone's painting, then it's their hand painting. <laughs> so I'm going to put that forward to the, to, uh, the National Gallery as a new saying. <laughs> Don't think it'll catch on. <laughs> so I'm just feeling now the clouds, really. These clouds are a certain way. I'm just trying to feel them out. Because I'm getting some blue and, blue and white. This bit here. What I like about ultramarine blue is it's really blue. <laughs> 
No, it's a really nice blue. It really works nice in the sky. And for a while, I used to always chuck something in it. No, I just like it as it is. So I'm going to zip in some really light blue now. Right here. dived into some yellow then. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Get a nice lightness in the horizon area. I don't mind that it kind of blends into that grey. That doesn't bother me. Okay, let's have a look at that. Yeah, it's looking quite interesting actually. I might put in some light areas now. What I'm gonna do, I'll wipe my brush. I'll have a quick drink first. And then I can sit back, take my time, think about my next move. And what is this going to be? What is this going to be? Could be a, uh, a distant scene, couldn't it, of a, a castle? Well, if there was a castle there, uh, that would be interesting. Before we put the uh, light in the clouds, maybe we should think about that. A castle idea. Using my imagination. Yellow ochre. I'm thinking I want it to be quite dull to start with. I'll just throw a bit of that in this. What if there's a castle? What if there's a castle up here? There maybe? Maybe that's one of the towers there. Maybe it's uh let's think about this. Maybe the tower part goes like that. It's got a triangular top. We start off with not much paint, but then uh, something like that. Maybe there's a, a wall part. So we're just making this up. Uh, what about the doorway would be there maybe? And then the, the wall could go off here. Maybe over there. Maybe there's the remains of a tower 
that broke that's there. Maybe in the background there's another tower, sort of there. Like that. Quite like that. Just get rid of some of that light, so it did, when we uh, put some darker on there, it won't mix so much. So with some uh, blue and brown, blue and brown, we'll get our dark and we can uh, put in our door. Something like that. It's our doorway. We can have windows. Windows here and there. <laughs> windows. What else could we do? I want this to be more of a uh, an old one that's not really no one in it anymore. Yeah, we'll leave it at that for now because we're going to do more. <laughs> so let's give it some land to sit on. It's going to sit on this land. trees and things over here and uh, we can start maybe putting in a path that goes all the way around and like that I'm thinking sort of like that and then uh, we can make some decisions on what we want over here yeah I quite like that I quite like that so we need, just going to get another brush. What I want, maybe I'll build up the structure of things a little bit more around this area. Because we've got this coming down here. There. Maybe that goes to like that, and then just use a bit of uh, green and brown. I kind of like the idea of the hill that goes down like this. And then I'm thinking this is a bridge here. And then I might have a, a river there. And 
maybe a waterfall there. So, like I said, just making it up. <laughs> Trying to use a bit of creativity, a bit of creativity. So into some uh, blue and this brownie colour, maybe a bit of green. We'll make a lighter colour. Because it's got the blue and the white in it, it should vanish a little bit. So we can uh, put in the indication of maybe some of the hills back here. hills and then this can go in front like that. Yeah. I would imagine that this ca old castle was built years ago. And they thought, mm, we'll build it on this hill because then we'll have a good vantage point for if there's any attacks. And uh, maybe there's a few trees there. Look like there might be a tree there. Should we block this in? Let's block this in as well. Just going to get some uh, blue with this green, blue green. Just going to block this water in as well. Just blocking it in. Seeing if that looks all right. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> You've got to work out how to fix it. Some more of this colouring. It's quite a nice colour that is. That's uh, yeah, it's just sap green and. Iridium, bit of ultramarine blue. Okay, and then what I think I'll have is like grassy stuff over the top of this. And uh, I want the sunlight to be going like that, I think. So we can hit some of the castle with light. And then uh, this sort of side, catch more sunlight. Maybe, maybe we can put in a few trees as well. Just block this bit in as well. Here. I think when you're making stuff up, you use a different set of muscles. <laughs> you start, uh, your brain is ticking away and it's uh, trying to work things out and as you go. Add some colour there as well. Yeah. 
lock this in. looking at things, what doesn't look right, try and work things out to be, to be as close as I can to looking right, even though this is fake. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, this is part of my personal training. I've got to train myself to make stuff up as well, because I don't want to just rely on uh, what's out there. I mean, I do like painting what's out there, don't get me wrong. I don't want to rely on it. Maybe I could go on. Like yeah, I think that looks all right. We'll soon see. Some more colour over here. Block it all in, let's block it all in. Blocking it in, blocking it in. I was out taking pictures today. One that I really like, and uh, if you like painting buildings, I'm hoping I can do it in my usual timing. <laughs> but I might not be able to, so we'll see. Um, it may appear, it may not. <laughs> Right, so we've got like a base blocked in. Maybe we could uh, just gonna get some browns. Just browns. I'm just want to block in the uh, the road. Might have a wiggle on there, and then it comes down. Maybe. Would you do that if you if you put the road there? No, you wouldn't, would you? You'd have it going straight. flatter. I think it would go round. I think you, your path would go like that. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? <laughs> we can always paint this again when we work it all out. <laughs> right, let's get a brush. Not that one yet. Let's do the sky first. Uh, what about this one? This one in my hand. So I'm going to get some white. A bit of this napalm yellow. 
So I've got white and Naples yellow. To warm it up. Just to warm that sky up a bit. So we've got clouds. So we were saying that the light was gonna come this way, so I'm gonna put a bit of highlight on some of these clouds. like quite a stormy cloud. <laughs> Looks like a rough place to live. Maybe there is someone still in the castle. Maybe there's a wizard in there. <laughs> out areas that you want to be lighter. Whatever you want to do, you can do it and then uh, sit back and have a look at it. blend in, maybe you don't want to blend it, it's up to you. using little uh, strokes like this. You get dark clouds and light clouds. Maybe it's a bit dark around that. So I'm going to think about this building now. I'm going to use the same brush. So I want a warmth on this building. I want to warm it up, make it stand out a bit. So what I'm going to use is some crimson, some of this yellow. white. 
So that's quite, that's really warm actually. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to warm this up here. Sort of take it around a little bit along that roof. Maybe there's a bit there. brush I think as well. Get a bit more white in that just to get a bit lighter. breaking some of the areas and, and then maybe there'll be some light on this and on that probably a little bit maybe we'll stick this bit out a bit just sit back a little bit have a look at that so I've done a lot of uh, church painting <laughs> I've been out painting churches and I like looking at the old buildings so that's kind of what I'm using my memory of doing that really. So I want to make like a bluey grey so I'm using uh, a bit of ultramarine blue, a bit of the old lizard and crimson, a bit of white, make this bluey colour and I'm going to shadow this castle with that. Hmm, can't really see it that well. So I'm just going to cool this down. And then I want like a, a top line. Um, but I want it to be a bit lighter than that. So I want it to be more sort of sky colour. Okay, how's that look? That's quite warm. I think maybe some of this light might hit certain areas. Maybe there's a window it hits. Then I'm going to go and do an in, sort of an in between kind of a little warm, not quite, but yellow ochre in it.
Okay, I think I'll show that a second. I might just lighten the tops a bit again. Now, <laughs> I'm just going back and forth a little bit with colour and, uh, until I get something that I like. I'm getting, I'm getting there, not quite though. The building, it looks a bit too dark as a whole. So a bit of burnt sienna yellow ochre and white, just a bit of white. I might start putting that in. Yeah, that warms it up a lot. That is a lot better. Right, now I want to think of shadows. So, making a dark using blue and brown, just the usual blue and brown. Let's think of a shadow that goes there. I think there would be one there as well. dark on this side. Go dark under there. Yeah. And I'll put some little windows back in. Okay, I think I'll stick with that for now. <laughs> stick or twist. I think I'll stick with that. And I'll start putting in some grass. So, grass, grassy greeny grass. Let's go with some of this yellow and sap green. To get it started, see how it looks. got to think as well, it's, uh, is someone living there, is it, is it still in use, or is it, I think we'd have sort of land there. Yeah, quite like that, do quite like that, I think that's coming on.
Yeah. So then we need to think of a few trees. I think I would have a few trees in there. Let's make them up. <laughs> Let's just make them up. Look at the power we have. The power. We can make some trees. Up. Maybe there's a tree there. We'll keep these trees quite dark. Over the greens. And then uh, I quite like the idea of the tree right here. was a whole line of them at one point maybe, but as the time has gone on, the beautiful garden that was once is now just grown over a bit. My areas are still nice and bright. Let's get this bright bit there. Nice and bright areas. side of this tree a bit of sunlight and we've got to think about the shadow for that so when we highlight the path we won't highlight that too much using using the paint almost like sculpting Some uh, some blue and white. I'm gonna bring this water along here. Using fairly straight straight strokes. A bit of movement. This, this is a, a bit like one near me actually, <laughs> there's no castle there, but there is um, water flowing sort of like that. Ok, 
Okay, lab that, I quite like that. Uh, we want some grass going down the side of that. And then uh, on the other side, let's look for a brush. <laughs> On the other side, we want it to be darker, so we go dark over here, not hitting as much of the old light down there. A bit of the yellow ochre and sort of pull some of this down. Yellow ochre, burnt sienna on the brush. going that way. Now I want to throw in some of that shadow colour there. So over here I'm going to have a tree, a tree sort of there, I might put a few over here actually, quite like the idea of a few, just grabbing a dark, just pulling in some colour, get some nice darks. Break it to the something like that. those trees there but I do want to be able to see behind them at the same time so I'm gonna get some grass <laughs> see I don't use paint anymore I'm using grass
I'll just block this in. Some of the chrome yellow out of it. So it's mostly coming from the one side, most of the light. Use a little uh, little stroke like this. Indicate lots and lots of leaves. Sitting right back having a look at that. Felt like I needed a bit more dark on it.
A yellow ochre. Okay, just sitting back having a look at that. So I want our eyes to go shoom in. So what I might do now, using a really lot smaller brush, a little bit of the pink. Yeah, I think that's quite interesting. That's quite an interesting looking uh, painting. Just a little bit of dark there. You can uh, do all kinds of little things on your painting, put in all kinds of little effects and things and whatever you want to do. Using the big brush or the little brush, <laughs> you can make all kinds of little changes. And... Anyway, this is just a bit of fun, just trying to design something and see what happens. I might put a bird in. <laughs> I was thinking maybe a little bird here. A little on there. Maybe one more. So I could keep going, keep going and going with this. Maybe I could put a few bushes in there. You could do all sorts of things. I feel like I want another one of these trees here. There's one. I'll have that shadow going. Like that. Maybe I can do another one. Maybe there's a smaller one there. Well, I like that one. Yeah, I think I will call this one finished um, for now. I uh, can't see anything that I would do. I um, quite like the, uh, like the colours of the castle. And uh, yeah, I quite like it. I think it's a, a good experimental painting. Good experimental painting. That you, know, you could definitely do. You could do. Uh, you could do better. 
Right, I better put the brushes down, otherwise I'll spend another hour, or two hours, or three hours. <laughs> <laughs> or ten hours. <laughs> right, so thanks very much for watching this one. This is another uh, experiment. It's an experimental one. But I enjoyed myself, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it too. So I'll see you later, and I'll see you at another one. <laughs> Cheers, bye.